there. So you want to know why I should be the newest host of G4? Well, that's a fair question. Oh. Hey, Angel. How's the bench for the babysitting going? I told you I'm a space pirate, not a babysitter. I'll be the problem now. That's fine. I'll use Mario's pipe. What's wrong with Luigi's pipe? No. Mario's pipe oh. from the game. Anyway, does Mando know you have that? Well, we should get piping. Well, that's better. When I was eight, I couldn't find Waldo, but I found Super Mario instead, and he taught me how to play. His adventures awoke the gamer inside of me, my inner Tomb Raider, and fueled my need to vanquish villains and be the hero. Let's be real, this world has been a bit of a hot mess lately, and well, some of us have kept our nerve brain productive, right, Hulk? Hulk smash! But some of us have struggled a bit more. So how's this relate to G4? Once upon a time, geek culture was thought of as boring and unfashionable. What a load of crap! <laughs> and it was G4 that led the smackdown on that stereotype. They taught girls like me to don their controllers and lightsabers and cosplay and be whatever it is they wanted to be. And now, we need G4 more than ever. My name is Dina Cataldi, and I love Eggo Waffles. I fight like Wonder Woman. I play like Mario. And I am as cute as Pikachu. I'm sassy, and well, I love the nerd in all of you. So choose me, and help make your geek world just a bit brighter. Do you think I'm worthy? <laughs> well, Stormbreaker thinks so. Bazinga. Well, better late than never. <laughs>